Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Tommy and I want to show you what you can do with the Merge Shapes tool. In PowerPoint 2016, it is available if you place some shapes on the slide. Then go to your drawing tools. On the very left, you see Merge Shapes in the Insert Shapes box. But now, let the fun begin. On this slide, you can see objects that I have created using Merge Shapes and I will now show you what you can do with it. As you can see, we've got two circles here. I select both of them. Now I go to the Merge Shapes tool and select Union from the scroll down menu. And with one click, you've got one shape. Keep in mind that the combined object will always keep the color of the object selected first. Now I select both and instead of Union, I click Shape Combine. Now both shapes are combined and the overlapping part has become transparent. Let's see what Fragment does. I select both circles again and click on Fragment. And as you can see, we've got several independent parts now. Now I select both shapes, then go to Intersect. And I'm sure you've already guessed it. What remains is an object shaped like the overlapping part. Finally, let me show you how Subtract works. With Subtract, you can cut out parts of shapes. Again, I select the circles and clicking on Subtract, I cut out the overlapping area. Keep in mind that with Subtract it matters which shape you select first. You will always cut out the overlapping portion of the last shape selected. Now let's create something with the Merge Shapes tools I've shown you. A compass. To begin with, I create a circle, a rounded rectangle plus a hollow circle. After I've placed them correctly, I use the Union tool to combine them into one single object. Now I place a dark grey circle on that new object and another white circle on top of it. But to give the object a slightly three-dimensional effect, I need two more circles. With these circles, I can create the desired effect by using the Subtract tool. Now I give this new shape a light grey color and place it on the compass card. Now all that's missing is the needle. To create this needle, I use the diamond shape and the rectangle. I place the rectangle on the longish diamond shape then use the Fragment tool. The result is a diamond split into halves. I now color these halves with a darker and a lighter variant of red. Looks really 3D-ish, doesn't it? I now place the needle centered on the compass card. And the compass is done. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.